Hey folks, Agent CEO here. And in this video, I want to give you a walkthrough of how to use ProPresenter 7 and have different content being displayed on different screens. This came back from a question that we had on our Q&A um, last week. And I pretty much tried to do it live and had a couple of issues, but I found out what that issue was. So let me go ahead and show you the entire process. All right, so I am here on the latest version of ProPresenter 7. I have some old announcements that I had saved in here from um, Antioch. So we're gonna use this as a sample. So my mistake is I had a look on here, which I need to actually remove here. So I need to remove this look, which was undoing everything I was doing. All right, so first, let's go ahead and set up the environment so y'all can see exactly what's going on. I'm gonna go here to our screens. And since I don't have physical screens to do this, I'm gonna actually just make these all over again. All right, so let's get rid of this. So we have our sanctuary TVs. That's what's obviously going on in the sanctuary. And then I'm gonna make another screen. I'm gonna make this a NDI screen. And I'm gonna say 1080p 60. And I'm going to call this the um, entrance TV, all right? And then should we make another one? Nah, I think that's enough because the concept is still the same. All right, so we got that showing as an NDI screen. So let's go ahead and close that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open up my NDI studio right here. And we're going to set this to that screen. And did I not change the name? Oh, oh yeah, I didn't change the name. So let's call this Entrance TV. This just makes it easier for me to understand. All right, so we got that. Let's go back to our screen now. And there's the name, Entrance TV. All right. So let's actually, and I don't know why I didn't do this. Let's make another one so we can actually have both screens at the same time. All right, let's make one more screen and we're gonna call this one, I don't know, we'll call this Sanctuary. I call it two since the other name is the same, all right? So now I have one NDI screen here called the entrance TV. Then I have another NDI one that we're gonna point to sanctuary TV. Oh, I like how they stack these. TV two, all right? So at this point, we're gonna play with our looks. All right, so let's go to screens, edit looks, and we're gonna make ourselves a new look. And I'm gonna call this announcements, all right? So we'll make a new preset, call it announcements. And whoop, I clicked away from it. Thought I was trying to make it bigger. All right, so inside of here, we are now going to set the settings for what is displayed everywhere. So we have screen, and I guess that's going to be. Do I keep slipping and I not give this a name? Did I do the exact same thing? Yes, I did. Eh, my name is fine. Now that I think about it. All right, let's go back here to screens and then edit looks. All right, so we have our screen. This screen is going to simulate what's going into the sanctuary. And we have our interest TV. So our interest TV, we don't want masks. We don't want messages. We don't want props. We don't want slides. We don't want media. And we don't want video input. But on our screen, we don't want announcements. So that means that anything presentation that we flag as an announcement is only going to be played here and not here. All right. So that's what we got. We have our look now set to announcements. And we don't have any looks on our presentation. So the first thing we're going to do is go over here to our newsroom. And we need to change this 
as our destination from presentation to announcements. All right. So now I'm going to drag this over to another screen. And if we did everything right, I'm going to bring up our announcements. So actually, let me bring up our intro to service. So as you can see, it plays on both. All right, now that is again, because I have a look set here that will switch it to full screen, all right? So what I wanna do here in announcements in the newsroom, I want to, and say you have this as an intro, we want to first set a look on here. We'll say that our look is to switch over to the announcements. So, once we click on the slide, it's going to configure the screens based off of the look that we just set, right? So as you can see right now, it just outputs everything to everything. And let me show you that one more time. So if we go to our look, we're right now on full screen. So if we go to full screen, as you can see, everything shows up everywhere. But our announcements is going to be different. All right, so now let's engage the announcements and let's see what happens. So announcements are playing. But we still have the other presentation going on that would be in our on the TVs. All right. So let's try this again. And let's say let's bring up. Say we're at a song now that's going on in the sanctuary. All right. So I just turned the slides off here. I'm going to bring up the song. And you see the lyrics are still going on, but the announcements are still going. So that's because the look has not been modified. So if I go back to my intro slide, which has a look right here, you can see it from the little glasses and mustache that is set. If I go here and edit this so you can see it, and I wanna edit action, see, you see the look? I wanna edit the look, and the look is on full screen. Once I click on this, that's what's gonna make all of the screens exactly the same. That's what messed me up before because I had a look on the presentation that reset everything. So if I click on this welcome slide, there you go. That plays everywhere, All right? Now, if I go, let's clear out of this. I'm going to put on a background, nice little background here. And now I'm going to click on my announcement slide again. As you can see, the sanctuary screen is still the same, but the announcements is showing the announcements. It's not showing what's on the same screen. The only time these will show is if we change our look to say, hey, I want the look to show everything the same across the board. We set a look specifically for our TV to say, hey, this TV is flagged as the announcements that are in the entrance or wherever else that you want to have um, in the church. And ProPresenter is only going to send that, all right? So let's do a refresher real quick. We come in here. Let's clear out everything. First, we need to make sure that if we go here to Preferences and Screens, we have our screens configured. Give it the name, whatever you want to. Sanctuary um, TV. Then I have um, Entrance TV, North X, Entrance, whatever you want to call it, all right? Now, inside of here, the, after you set your screens, we're going to go to screens and then edit our looks. We're going to make a look that specifically flags what content is going to go to each screen. All right. So my entrance TV, I only ever want it to show announcements. I don't want it to show anything else for right now. Again, we can change that if we went to a different look, which is full screen that shows everything. So say church is starting, you only want announcements in the entrance. Hey, service, um, the sermon is going on and people are still outside for whatever reason. Maybe the ushers, greeters or whatever are in that entrance and they want to be able to see the, the service. Then you could switch and switch this to full screen. Then they can see whatever is going on in that, in that situation. You know, if you have video input, you can signal the video that way if it's captured. So now they can see everything. All right. Next thing that we do, we want to pick whatever your presentation is. So here is my newsroom. So on here, the very first slide that I do is I right click, add an action, add a look, and I let's actually remove it so I can actually do it all over again. So we're going to come in here 
add an action, add a look, set the look to that announcement look or whatever the name that you called it that will show announcements on one screen and not somewhere else. Now you set your look. Now the other thing we need to do is come down to the presentation, right click on it and then set the destination. The destination is announcements instead of presentations. This is going to trigger and categorize this content to now engage the look. So since this is an announcement, if we go back here to our looks, announcements are the only thing they're gonna show. You see it has that green circle when it's an announcement, it's an orange when it's a presentation, all right? So now, if we come back here after we set our look as well, all right, so now let's go back to our intro, which already had a look that will make it go all the way back to full screen. So everything will show everywhere. So if we engage that, you see it showing up here. I drag this down. As you can see, it shows on both screens. One is simulating the sanctuary TVs. The other one is the entrance. If we scroll down, and can I get to it? And we go to the announcements. And if we engage the announcements, it has a look on it. Boom. There we go. So now we have two different things going on at the same time. So as a refresher, let's go over it one more time. First, we need to go in here to preferences, make your screen flagged differently. You have a connection, whatever. Hopefully you would have something like that. Um, you can have a, a specific connection, NDI, whatever, that's going, that's connected to that TV. Give it a name, make it easy to disseminate which one is which. After that, we're gonna go to screens, go to looks. We're gonna make a new look with that entrance only showing announcements and nothing else, all right? After we do that, we're gonna go to our presentation, whatever it is. We're gonna right click on it, set the destination to announcements so that this, is, this presentation is only gonna go to that TV when that look is engaged, all right? Now inside that same presentation, right click on the first slide, add an action, add a look, and set the look to the announcement look that you just made, all right? So now with all that done, when you engage everything, let's do it one more time. As you can see, it shows everywhere, but then when we engage that presentation that's flagged as an, uh, an announcement and the look, when we click on it, it now is going to play that only there. All right. So hopefully that helped. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Um, very good question. Um, Cause I actually didn't even have this set up um, yet, but Hey, this is a good way that I'm actually going to probably implement this in some way, shape or form. Um, at church next week, not this week, but next week. So anyway, like I said, if you have any more questions, email me down below at questions at ajhomes.com. Give me 48 to 72 hours to respond and we'll do our best to get back in touch with you. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching folks. This is AJ. We'll catch you on the next video later. Mm -hmm.